To getting started, go to the start menu and navigate to OCGIS and click OCGIS Pro. Once the OCGIS Pro is opened, create a new project by clicking map option under the blank templates and enter the valid project name and location and click OK. Once a new project is created, now it's time to create the necessary files for the projects. In the C drive, I'm going to create a directory called data. In this directory, I'm going to paste the working shape file, which later will be imported in the project using Python. I also use catalog panel to go to the favorites and click add items and I'm going to select the folder data and click OK. In the Python console, I'm going to write a code of pi dot management dot copy features. And I will drag and drop the shape file. within the braces and hit enter. We have successfully imported the shape file in the project directory. So I will also use the catalog panel to navigate to folders and I am expanding the my demo project folder and verifying that the shape file being imported in the directory. I right click on the layer to zoom to the layer to see the extent of blocks together. I right click on the layer and pick the labeling properties. I change the map scale to 1 is to 50,000. Now I use feature layer appearance tab to set the symbology with the unique values. I set field 1 to be block name and I say S2 when it tell me the more than 100 unique values present. On the ribbon, I go to feature label labeling tab and then I click expression button next to the name. Click the position and expand the stake heading and check the stake label. That ensure the block label always in a single row. Click the class and this content for Python. So I switch to Python language. To run the Python function, I check the advanced option. Label expression in Python is always expressed as find label, so don't change it. My label expression as brief parameter, comma separated in the field name and square bracket surrounding them. Create a formatted string in a text variable. String is formatted within double code. Zero within curly braces indicates the position of the field in the array. In this case, it is block name. Forward slash n for line break. Followed by the text area and one within curly braces which is area field from array. And again, forward slash n for line break followed by text ph and two within curly braces the string within double code format and add fields within square brackets 
and return text. Click green tick icon to validate the expression and click apply. It returns block name, area in meters and pH value in separate lines. Area units are in meters, hence formatted for easy expression. Define formatted underscore area as float within the bracket. Enter the parameter area surrounded by the square bracket divided by 10,000 to express units in hectare. Replace the area variable with formatted underscore area in text string variable. Click green tick icon to validate the expression and click apply. The values are in hectare. Hence, make changes in the string format to display hectare after area value. Format area units for decimal places. Define variable format underscore area. And curly braces within single code. Express. 0 colon comma for 1000 separates dot 2 f for 2 decimals dot format enter formatted underscore area variable within bracket click green tick icon to validate the expression there is an error invalid expression Within the format structure, decimal place should be expressed as .uf. Apply changes. Other text formats can be applied within the string variable such as bold, color, and font formats, etc. Write a bol tag to highlight the field in bold and use the close tag backslash bol. Click apply for changes. Define a variable called pH underscore value. As float within the braces pH parameter surrounded by the square bracket. Write a condition if pH underscore value colon equals to or less than seven. Under else condition, at first condition, write a tag CLR win equals to 255 within single quote.
copy the variable text and paste it under else condition modify the CLR red equals to 255 click green tick for validation it throws an error invalid expression line 6 text variable provide space before the variable text and apply changes with this formatted text value area width two decimal places and thousand separators it checks the value of ph underscore value if ph underscore value is greater than or equal to 7 font color green else red with this we have successfully learned label expression in ArcGIS using Python.